the ones to bring up beer first. We have words. You're looking good, man. I'm trying. First of all, I want to say I love Santa Cruz and I love all of you for doing what you do. This is why our town rocks. Yeah, what he said. Damn right. About stuff. Okay. Um, this town's not too bad. I've been here my whole life and I'm still adjusting and paying rent still. I'm, I'm like the less serious guy, he's the serious guy. That's Good right. cop, bad cop. Okay, yeah. We should right. probably say That's what we right. wrote down now. Okay. Keep all drinking. Right. Shake them down. Okay. All right. Introductions. Introductions. Hello. My name is Nash Dillon, director of the Santa Cruz Community Farmers Markets. We run all of your friendly farmers markets, funky folks that we are. And uh, <laughs> to my left here is uh, Austin Town. Uh, other words known as the brainchild and executive food truck warrior of Gordo Gustavo. You don't know brisket until you've met this guy. I've yet to be called a brainchild in my life, so it's pretty cool. Um, both Nation and I know what it takes to make food happen, and um, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of hard work. It is um, stubbornness. It is a love for no days off. No days off. And we've adjusted. I recommend not doing it. Um, that's why I tell everyone that wants to open up a food truck, like, oh, super cool. Yeah, do it. Super rad. It's not. Uh, nonetheless, um, <laughs> what were we going to write? Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff we were going to say. But um, just every, yeah, just, just don't go for it. Don't swear. That's what they said. Um, <laughs> Everyone knows Santa Cruz is on the leading edge of the sustainable farming movement. And we are producing some of the best produce around. And it's happening right here. And what's really incredible about that that a lot of people don't know is that we're also now an incubator for truly amazing food coming from these farms that were being utilized as raw ingredients. And we're here to help out these folks. Well, Show I mean, what's up. It, the, the amazing thing is, is that over 20 years, almost 20 years of doing the farmers markets, I've seen the synergy between our growers and these startup food businesses happen, and and how those food products really are enhanced by that relationship, and it's something that we at the farmers market are really trying to support and promote. And there's a ton of businesses that come out, have come out of the markets, but there's one in particular, which is the one that's winning the award tonight, that has just gone like light speed ahead of any other business that I've seen. Way past me. I mean, they it's just the like the amount of support and success that these guys have had is just mind bending. I mean, these guys have been nationally recognized. Uh, they've been um, recognized by... Uh, Real Simple Foods, Bon Appetit, they've won awards, they've um, been featured on national public radio. I mean, they've done incredible, incredible stuff, and at the core of it, they've been supporting our local farmers, the raw ingredients that go into every jar of product that they sell are our local farmers. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> um, so you should know who we're talking about. They understand me. Here. Right about now. <laughs> when, <laughs> so it's with great pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Foodie Award, Burn Hot Sauce. Chase and Amanda. Well, uh, firstly, let me fix this. <clears throat> wow, you are all looking swell and spicy, may I say. <laughs> um, I'm up here with my wife-to-be and chef of Burn Hot Sauce, Amanda. 
If if it wasn't for her, we uh, we wouldn't be up here. So I, I really want to give give you all the thank you tonight. She is the best. So uh, keep it spicy. <laughs> I really, really, really uh, appreciate our community and uh, the fact that we can grow so much, so much produce in this area. <laughs> um, don't, don't ever stop. <laughs> uh, we, we love you guys too. And uh, we love the farmer's market. We love our farmers. We currently work with six farmers around the state, um, but we know their dogs, we know their wives, we know. <laughs> it's all wild, you know? And uh, <laughs> uh, I uh, thank you, Matt, for having us up here too, wherever you are. <laughs> Go for it. Is this, is this the mic? Oh, I didn't know this. Okay, this is another microphone. Hi, I'm Amanda. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for choosing Burn Hot Sauce as Foodie of the Year. <sighs> I want to thank the farmers. If you're here, I absolutely love you. <laughs> I want to thank our incredible team of burners. You, you know who, who, help, you are. <laughs> who help who help make it, bottle it, sell it, and love it. We couldn't do it without you. I also want to thank Chase. You are my best friend, my business partner, and the love of my life. And I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. She is so lucky. <laughs> It is so important to celebrate local organic businesses. It has a direct effect on our environment, our community, and our health. Every day when you get to make a choice, no, every day <laughs> you get to make a choice of who you want to be. So let's make the future brighter together. I love you, Santa Cruz. Ever since I moved here, I felt so connected to this place. I feel so alive at the farmer's market. And you've named me, you've named us foodie of the year? Just, just keep eating and we'll do okay. Yeah, it's yeah. really incredible. So thank you guys for growing the most delicious food on the planet. It's really amazing. And part of it is that you guys grow it and you guys eat it and you guys love it. So thank you. <laughs> And uh, speaking about that breakfast and that amazing food at the market, thank you guys. Thank you, Nash. Thank you, Bubba. We, it, we wouldn't be who we are if we didn't have competition. You know? And he does make the best brisket. Yeah. And uh, yeah, our friends, near and far, you know who you are. <laughs> We gotta go. Let's hear it for Burn Hot Sauce. <laughs>